हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू वन मोर वीडियो ऑफ स्पेशल बायोटॉनिक स्टूडेंट्स रिसेंटली वी हैव फिनिश्ड द बोर्ड प्रैक्टिकल एग्जामिनेशन आई फाउंड मेनी स्टूडेंट्स डूइंग सीरियस मिस्टेक्स ड्यूरिंग प्रैक्टिकल टाइम सो आई थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट द क्विक रिविजन ऑफ बायोलॉजी प्रैक्टिकल्स एंड मार्किंग स्कीम फॉर दिस वीडियो आई एम यूजिंग द मार्किंग स्कीम गिवन बाय द सीनियर टीचर्स फ्रॉम एच बोर्ड स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल please consider subscribing this channel thank you students you know that the practical examination is of 30 marks which is divided into seven questions now the first question is for four marks and it may have questions like study of osmosis by using potato osmoscope or by using treader scan shell leaves or isolation of dna the second question is for three marks and it has options like dissection of flower pollen germination or quadrat method students the third question is also carrying 3 marks and it may have the options like study of soil or study of water or it may have other questions as you know question 4 is spotting which has 10 spots carrying one mark each question 5 is project question 6 is viva and question 7 is journal students i want to mention here that the complete and certified journal will give you 3 marks project on suitable topic will award you 5 marks regarding the oral it is based on first 3 questions and it carries 2 marks so don't forget your journal while going for practical examination now let us study each questions one by one the first question may be plasmolysis for 4 marks students here the split up of marks is 2 marks for the preparation of slide 1 mark for observation or conclusion and 1 mark for diagram please remember that this scheme is applicable to all experiments under question 1 so when you mount the leaf peeling under microscope it looks like this you can clearly see the shrunken cytoplasm in pink color and this is what you have to draw the diagram now the option in question 1 may be mounting of stomata so when you mount the lower epidermal part of leaf under the compound microscope we can see beautiful stomata students the first two pictures are of tridescential leaf showing stomata and the third one is from hibiscus leaf and this is what you have to draw in the answer book we can also study osmosis by using potato osmoscope this is the picture you have to draw in the answer book now the other option may be this is about the extraction of dna by using suitable biological material like banana so any one of the questions will come for the examination now question 2 carries 3 marks and the split up is 2 marks for preparation and 1 mark for diagram here you may have dissection of hibiscus flower you have to display the parts on the plain a4 sheet paper and explain it to your teacher here you can see the various parts of flower like calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium you have to also take transverse section of ovary and mount it under dissecting microscope so students this is what we can see under dissecting microscope you can see five chambered ovary and each chamber is called locule and various ovules are attached to this locule now students this is what you have to draw in the answer book that is the five chambered ovary and we can see locules as well as ovules now one more option in this question may be the study of plant frequency or density by using quadrat method now about question 3 it may have the options like soil or water study it is also for 3 marks students for the soil you have to write the ph and soil type and for the water study we have to write ph and the clarity of water now question 4 is spotting with total 10 spots carrying one mark each here half mark is for identification and remaining half mark is for description in two to three lines so let us start the details of spotting one by one students the spot a includes the plants adapted for wind and insect pollination the given plant is maize adapted for 
wind pollination here the flowers are not attractive decorative with no nectar and fragrance the stigma is feathery pollens are light in weight more in number and it shows smooth exine the plant is monoecious that is male and female flowers are born on the same plant the flowers are protandrous students the second option is salvia now this salvia plant is adapted for insect pollination the flowers are attractive decorative with nectar and fragrance the stigma is sticky and pollens are less in number with rough exine the flower shows bilobed corolla the stem end shows filament and divaricate connective here there's a fertile lobe and sterile lobe this stem end shows lever mechanism to transfer pollens through insects now this is about the experiment that is steps in hybridization emasculation bagging and tagging emasculation is the removal of anthers from the flowers which are treated as female flowers in case of bagging we have to cover the flowers with polythene bag before as well as the after pollination to prevent pollination from unknown sources tagging is to attach a paper to the plant with the details like the name of the plant date of emasculation date of pollination place of work name of the plant breeder etc now any one of the three will come in the spotting now students the spot b is about some physiological experiments the given experiment is four leaf experiment to study rate of transpiration here the vaseline is applied to the leaves as follows leaf a on both the side leaf b only on lower side leaf c on upper side and leaf d no vaseline now due to such application of vaseline d leaf dries earlier or it shows more wilting whereas the leaf a remain fresh for more duration that is less wilting now the second option is that is the study of the separation of plant pigment by using paper chromatography here the leaf extract is taken in acetone is loaded on the chromatographic paper such a paper is inserted into a jar containing ether and acetone solution after some time the solvent moves upward carrying the pigments along with them we can see the four spots as chlorophyll b chlorophyll a xanthophyll and carotene students you can remember all four pigments and its sequence by using the mnemonic boys at xerox center that is b a x c interesting isn't it so by using paper chromatography we can study separation of plant pigments that is chlorophyll a b xanthophyll and carotene student the spot c is about the plants adapted for aquatic and xeric condition now this plant is opuntia dileni which is adapted for xeric condition here the stem is thick fleshy green and photosynthetic it is called phylloclade the leaves are reduced to spines to minimize the rate of transpiration now this is a plant calotropis procera adapted for xeric condition the leaves and young branches are covered with mealy coating along with hairs which act as insulating covering leaves are thick and leathery the plant possesses latex now this plant is acacia arabica adapted for xeric condition here the leaves are bipinnately compound with small leaflets the stipules are modified to spine to minimize rate of transpiration the stem is covered with thick brown bark now the fourth plant can be hydrilla adapted for aquatic conditions here the roots are poorly developed and adventitious the stem is slender soft with no mechanical tissue the leaves are thin membranous without cuticle and stomata the entire plant is covered with mucilaginous covering to prevent from rotting effect now this is a ecornia adapted for aquatic conditions the stem is offset type with erenchyma the leaf petiole is solen with spongy erenchyma dust tissue for floating the leaves are covered with waxy coating to prevent rotting and wetting so students any one out of five spots will come for the identification now students the spot d is about the permanent slides like testes ovaries or vs of blastula 
Now to start with, this is a TS of testes. Now this testes shows many seminiferous tubules. Now each seminiferous tubule is lined by germinal epithelium. We can see the sperms at different stages of development. We can see primary, secondary spermatocyte, spermatids and sperms. Now this is about transfer section of ovary. It shows cortex and medulla. The cortex is lined by germinal epithelium. The cortex shows different stages of developing ovarian follicles like primary follicle, secondary follicle, tertiary follicle or it may have graphene follicle. The medulla shows the connective tissue containing blood vessels, lymph vessels and nerve endings. Now, this is a slide of VS of blastula. It shows outer layer of small flattened cells called tropoblast. It encloses a cavity called blastocele and inner cell mass. The inner cell mass is attached to the tropoblast on one side. The tropoblast cells in contact with the inner cell mass are called the cells of rubber. Student, the spot is to identify and comment on the following syndromes from the given karyotype. Now, this is a karyotype showing trisomy of 21st chromosome. The person with this karyotype has Down syndrome. There's a short stature and stunted growth and protruding tongue. They also have flattened nose. Now, about this karyotype, it is the karyotype showing trisomy of sex chromosome. So, the sex chromosomes are XXY. There is an extra X chromosome in male, which leads to feminine characters in males. The person with such karyotype has Klinefelter syndrome. Such a male is sterile. He may have thinly dispersed hair, wide hips and enlarged breast. Now, this is about the karyotype showing the monosemy of sex chromosome, that is XO. In such female, the second sex chromosome is missing. Such a female is called the Turner's female and the syndrome is called Turner's syndrome. Such a female is sterile. Now, the symptoms include no menstrual cycle, webbed neck, low set ears, broad chest with widely spaced nipples, etc. So, students, if you want to study the details of each syndrome, please check the link of video in the I section. Thank you. Students, the spot F is to identify diseases and comment on control measures. Now, this is about the protozoan plasmodium vivax. It causes malaria. Now, the control measure includes preventing mosquito bites using insect repellent or mosquito nets. Students, this is a picture of protozoan entamoeba histolytica. It causes amoebiosis. The control measure includes the careful hand washing with soap and water before eating and even after using toilets, proper disposal of sewage, etc. Now, students, you know that these animals are nothing but the male and female Ascaris, that is Ascaris lumbricoides. Now, they cause Ascariasis. Now, the control measures include avoid contact with soil that may be contaminated with human faces, wash your hands before eating or preparing food and even after touching soil or using the toilets. Now, this picture is of pathogen microsporum which causes ringworm disease. It is also called dermatophytosis. It's a fungal disease. The control measures include keep the skin clean and dry, avoid physical contact with the person suffering from ringworm disease. Now, students, the spot 4G is about various stages in meiosis. Identify the correct stage and describe it in 2-3 to three lines. Please check the link of this video in I section for further details. Now, AD1 disease will come for the spotting. Now, the spot H is about the animals adapted for aquatic and zeric conditions. They include camel and kangaroo rat as zeric animals and rohu and dolphins as aquatic animals. Now, write any 2-3 to three points for their adaptations. Students, question 4i is about the model of brain, eye, ear and even vertical section of anatropus ovule. Here, you have to identify the labeled part and you have to mention the function of that part. Now, question 4j about the pedigree analysis. It has various studies like widow's peak, inability to roll the tongue, blood group and color blindness. Students, you can pause the video to see the details of each part, that is with the chart. Students, let me remind you that half mark is for identification and half mark is for the correct description in two to three lines. 
So students, this is all about the quick revision of biology practicals. At the end, I request you all to like my channel, share it and subscribe it. Thank you.